Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Sierra and today we are on the other side of my office. Usually we film that way um, in the little chair nook area, um, but today we are actually facing the computer. This is the M1 Mac that I showed you guys in the other video a couple weeks ago. Still working pretty nice. I love her. She's a beaut. Also, you can see my closet here, which I took the doors off of because I didn't like them. I'm thinking of putting in one of those farmhouse doors, you know, the ones with the like bar there and the slider. Tell me what you think about that. I think it's the way to go. I also would like to do French doors, like with like legit French doors with glass. So if you guys, if you have a preference, I'm gonna take a little poll here and see kind of what people like better because I don't know, I'm leaning towards a farmhouse door, but I really like the French doors idea. Let me know. So if you like this topic, feel free to like, comment, subscribe uh, so that we can continue to talk about more fun techie stuff. I've also talked about how to accelerate WGU really fast because those of you who don't know, I went to WGU and it's a school that you can get through really quickly. However, I've talked about burnout that I've experienced and how I literally forgot <laughs> so much stuff when I took a break. After I got burned out and took a break, I forgot so much stuff. So I wanted to talk to you guys about some tips and tricks on how to remember your coding um, and what the skills that you're learning when you're doing this. And these are things that'll help you really ingrain them in your mind so you won't do the same mistakes that I did and learn all this stuff. And then when it comes time to use it, be like, huh, what? So today, that's what we're doing here. So let's start out. Um, depending on where you guys are at in your coding skills, you know, you may be a lot further along. You may be really in the very, very beginning stages. We're gonna start kind of with the extreme beginning stages because the first thing that you should do when you start to learn to code is just assume you know nothing, Jon Snow. <laughs> just wipe everything out of your brain, approach it with the most open mind you possibly can. So if you guys don't know, there is a study, um, and it's, there's a, a word for this, so I'll put it up here because I can't think of the word right now, but it's basically where the less you know, the, like you think you know more, and the more you know, you think you don't know anything and you have an imposter syndrome. That's basically how coding kind of works, or at least that's how it worked for me at a certain extent. In the very beginning, I approached it completely open-minded and I learned a lot very quickly, like I said before. However, I do think that I learned so much because I was, I thought I was an idiot. I was like, just Sierra, you know nothing about this, so don't feel bad about the fact that you don't know anything. Just embrace the fact that you are ignorant in this subject and then you'll be able to, you know, just be open to people telling you things. However, that did, <laughs> that did kind of go away when I was about two thirds, maybe a halfway through. Just because I, I, I get cocky, like I'm not gonna lie, I got cocky and I was like, I got this, <laughs> I got the gist, we're good here, I can go out, I can do the things. And it's like, girl, no you can't, you haven't even taken the actual coding classes yet, you've just been going through a bunch of books and things, which I talked about briefly in videos before. So I totally recommend going there with as a blank slate, just, just gain the knowledge, take the time to gain the knowledge. All right, so now that you guys have gone in, you know, you're ready to learn, you're willing to learn, willing to admit that you don't know everything about uh, this new subject or this subject that you are currently in but is constantly changing. So maybe you're gonna get a tutorial or you're gonna go to school. However you're gonna learn coding, this is the thing that you're gonna do. Once you get your lesson, try and break it down into chunks. As soon as you're being taught something, say you're learning um, conditional statements or something like that, like if statements, once you get the general concept of what that is and you can see how it works in this lesson that you're taking, again, this is just an example, I'm just talking about whatever it is that you're learning, go ahead and try and recreate that without watching the tutorial. Like see if you can do it just by yourself. Once you can do it by yourself like at least three times and hopefully you'll get quicker each time, then you're really ready to move on to the next section. Um, just because it's a lot easier to learn how to pedal before you learn how to pedal and stand. You know what I mean? Like just it's baby steps each each section of the way. So learn the chunk that you just learned and get that really down well and then move on to the next step because coding builds on each factor that you've just learned. So if you are learning um, say web development, you're obviously going to learn HTML first and you're going to learn CSS and then you're going to learn JavaScript. So it's each section is very important so that you understand everything as a whole. It's really, I mean, it's kind of tedious if you're a person who likes to just kind of through stuff, but um, 
it's way more beneficial this way. So watch your tutorial, take it in for a second and then recreate it. And if you finish the whole tutorial, try and go back and recreate whatever it was that you made. Like if you were making an app or if you were making um, a web page or uh, I don't know, whatever else you could be making, some sort of back end thing. Go back and try and recreate it. Like I said, maybe two to three times if you can, if you've got the, if you've got the time and the desire to do so. Maybe tweak it and see if you can make it even better, like if you can build upon it or if you can customize it a little bit and then you'll really understand that material. Now my next tip for you guys is to try and think of your concepts that you're learning as a story. Um, I watched a thing about how to like just memorize stuff in general and they basically were like, here we're gonna give you a set of 20 random words and the way for you to memorize these words are just to make a story of them. Say we're gonna give you um, nice leaves, elephant, grass, and car and it's like okay let me make a story about this and it was like a nice day when I went out the leaves were falling and an elephant was uh, driving through the grass in a car and that's how you memorize stuff really quickly because you've made a story about it and it's got some sort of through line based upon your own you know your own mind making that up and then you'll be able to memorize it better just like um, what was PEMDAS? Everyone eats and DOS was everyone eats pizza always something I don't know what it was that was like third grade but I think it had something to do with pizza and so you know stuff like that that'll stick with you it didn't stick with me but it, you know it'll stick with most people for the rest of their lives because you've made a story about it and um, you can recall those stories so something like that okay so my last tip for you guys is to teach somebody what you just learned afterwards and honestly they don't have to be super interested in tech for you to be able to teach them this stuff like if you're calling your parents if you're calling your siblings if you're talking to your friends or whatever you can just tell them these things they might not be super interested but i'm sure that they will sit there and listen to you for a couple minutes while you explain this because they know this is how you should really start to retain information is to try and communicate it to somebody else um i had a little kid that i babysat who is one Wonderful. and he I showed him scratch one day and um, he just latched onto that thing so hard and was constantly like trying to learn stuff about it so I would explain things to him if I learned something new I would like explain them to him so that he could do it in scratch and it was super beneficial because not only did he learn how to do it but you know I just reinstalled it in myself whatever the concept was that I was learning so super like I said super beneficial it really does help put that knowledge in your long-term memory banks and your storage in there so that you can return to it because you'll really understand the concepts this way and it honestly it might be even better if you're explaining this to someone who doesn't understand how um, development works and stuff because you're gonna have to basically pare it down a lot so that you use the most simplified words possible so your mind is going to have to really learn how to um really learn how to be concise in its delivery of this information so when you're trying to do it on your own it's going to know the exact nugget of what it's supposed to be doing you know it's, it's different from me trying to essentially BS, you know, a professor or something, which is so dumb. It's obviously they're a professor because they know what they're doing or talking about or like other engineers and stuff like that where you're just trying to like essentially talk in circles or like do something really drawn out or whatever. And it's like, okay, if this person obviously doesn't know what they're talking about or doing because they just keep on rambling. Um, but when you talk to people who don't know, then you're either gonna just outright lie if you don't know what you're talking about or you're going to try very hard in your mind to to figure out the most concise way of delivering this information so again i just i really think that you should tell somebody it doesn't really matter who i do think that telling people who don't understand technology is a lot easier and helps you a lot more like i said because you have to find the most concise way of doing it but again if you're talking to somebody who does really know technology if you get it wrong they'll correct you and hopefully explain to you how things go. So I hope you guys enjoyed those tips and tricks. And if you liked this video, please give it a like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.